Hey, I'm Dan, the Six Figure Couch Surfer, and I want to say thank you to all of you who viewed the last few videos and posted comments. Um, I believe it was Steve L that asked me to post specifically about basic training. I joined the military at 32 years old. I'm 33 now. I've been in for about six months, so this is all pretty fresh. Um, and I know how valuable it is as somebody who's on the later age of the spectrum to just uh, get some, some really detailed information about what to expect. We all, at, at this age, we've had um, basically about five to 10 years within a given industry that we've been working in. So going into the military, is just, it's a huge change, huge cultural change, um, psychological change. There's, you know, the relational dynamic between peers, it's, it's so different than what we experience in say the office corporate setting, which is where I came from. So um, just a brief background about me and my handle, I was a remote entrepreneur working from home. After I left the corporate scene, I started my own business working in the genetics, artificial intelligence space. And I'll post another video about that and how I made my money and income building a business for myself. So for now, I wanted to address a couple comments that I got on the last few videos asking, again, specifically about basic training. So before I joined, there's just a, a couple, like two or three things that really, um, pieces of information that my friends gave me who were in the, in the military. And that really kind of carried me through basic training. Um, the first most important thing to remember is that it is a structured environment, it's a game, it's a specific psychological system put in place to get you indoctrinated into the military. I mean, that's pretty pretty like basic knowledge, no pun intended. Um, but remembering that throughout contextualizes what's going on around you. And it'll give you a sense of appreciation for the really mundane stuff that you're gonna be doing. So, um, I don't want to give too many details about what you experienced because there is sort of uh, the mystery is kind of cool. So, you know, you don't know what to expect. There's a, there's a lot of times you're going to look around and say, like, what is what exactly is going on here? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Is this just kind of, you know, is this like a brief holding pattern that we're in? Is this going to be the entirety of the process? There's a lot of unknown. So you got to get used to that. Um, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. You're going to have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You're going to be put in a lot of situations where there's not, there's not any information put out to you. You don't know what's coming next pretty much ever. So after a while you can, you can see some patterns and you can predict things, but they do keep you on your toes. So be prepared to be uncomfortable, but understand that, that it's supposed to be this way. Um, and it doesn't represent what the military is like. This is a, an, Again, it's an in introductory aspect to the military. So no, it is not going to be what the entire career that you have in the military, it, it, it's, it's not representative of that. So put it in context, um, that, was, that was really important. Don't reflect too much on your decision to join when you're going through this process. Because of course you're gonna say, this doesn't feel comfortable, I don't like it here, I don't want this to be forever, um, I'd like to not be here anymore. That's gonna be the natural response is that you're gonna be stressed, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be exposed to weather conditions. There's gonna be things that you feel viscerally in your body where, where you know you, you want to go back to your bubble, right? The, the comfort zone of life. But you didn't join the military to be comfortable. So um, embrace it, you know, embrace the suck. The, the aspect, the best part of embracing it is that you are with peers. That's like the redeeming factor of the whole process. As you look to your left, you look to your right, and you see people that you respect, you see people that you like, you admire. I mean, you're gonna make buddies really quick, right? And that's also a part of the breaking process is that you're gonna bond really well with the people next to you. It doesn't matter what your race is. It doesn't matter what your socioeconomic status is. It doesn't matter where you come from in the world. Um, what language you grew up speaking, none of that matters. The color of your skin, the clothes you wear, that all goes away. You are humans in a very, very salient experience together, looking left and right for support, for comfort, and for camaraderie. And that is instantaneous. Like from minute one, you're getting that. So for me, that was huge. Because again, I was an isolated, work by myself, create my own company kind of guy. 
So joining the military was super immersive regarding peer community. So right then and there, while things get weird, they, the connections get awesome. I mean, it just, it happens in tandem. So pretty much for every negative you experience, there's going to be positive. So stay open-minded to that. Um, so that was one of the biggest pieces of information or, or kind of pieces of advice I got from my friends. It's just understand it's temporary and don't reflect too much. Don't get too worried about the, the future in the military. Just kind of, just be in the moment. And that's another thing. I mean, I'm really big into mindfulness and meditation and breathing techniques and all of that. So I could, I could give you boatloads of videos on that stuff. Um, I'm getting, I'm kind of new to this whole, you know, posting videos about military life thing. But if you guys have, again, post in the comments, if you, whatever you want to know about, I'm happy to, to put that out there. But I'm really big into psychology. I'm big into mindfulness. So being in the military or being, I guess, going through basic training, um, it's going to be either cold or hot. You're going to be outside a lot. Um, you're going to be in formation. It's a very organized, rigid, structured lifestyle, right? I mean, we're talking every minute of your day is planned, but you don't know that plan. So especially as somebody who, you know, is used to having a lot of control in life, you kind of let that all go. And it's a minute by minute, you know, uncertainty. And that's weird. That took a while to get used to. Again, that's where you look to your buddies and you kind of just do the head nod thing and um, you realize you're not alone. So um, there may not be times where you can talk to your peers as openly because of the structure around you. So again, mystery, the mystery awaits you. Um, but try to enjoy it as much as you can because you know the, the reason why you join the military is so much bigger than, than the minute by minute experience. There's a deeper, deeper meaning to you privately. And it's different than, than what your peers joined for, you know? So you gotta really lean on that. Know who you are as a person and appreciate your story in what you're experiencing. Because it's, it's so hard to put into words what you experience because in the moment, it's like you wanna complain about it, right? At least I want to complain about it. But I knew the future version of myself would look back and say, hey, I got you out of a mental rut. You know, you're, I'm able to experience cold temperatures a lot better than I thought, or hot temperatures, or, or uncomfortable situations, or hunger, or being sleep deprived. I mean, these are all things that, at such a, it's very limbic. It's very survivalistic, lower brain type reprogramming that you, you get to go through. And you become stronger through that. So I know that later in life as an entrepreneur, again, I can stay up later than I thought. I can work harder than I thought. I can have less resources around me and run leaner than I thought. I mean, there's so many parameters to who I am as somebody in the military versus as a civilian. It's expanded the scope of, of what I'm capable of. That right there is priceless. You can't put value on that because that's not something unless it, it's different. You can't on your own. You can't do this on your own. You got you got to do it. In my in my opinion, you got to do it in the military. I don't see a way for me to just be at home, make myself uncomfortable by myself to to grow. There are ways of doing that stuff. Totally, you can you can do it on your own. But again, being in that peer environment is where the dynamic is just so unpredictably cool um, because there are stories around you, there are people around you that you would never meet, right, from all parts of the planet. We had international um, students, or I guess not students, but like applicants, people who, who joined the military. Um, we had people from all over the United States, um, all different walks of life. And while you're kind of reflecting privately, again, on your own, in, through this process, you're also hearing the thoughts and seeing the feelings and experiences of those around you. And that dynamic is really powerful. I feel like I'm kind of rambling right now. Um, you're gonna eat meals that are planned and scheduled. You're not gonna starve. I know that was a question we had is, hey, are we gonna start getting like, uh, are they gonna start taking food away? Is there, no, you're, you're not gonna starve. There are a lot, it's, it's a safe environment to an extent, right? I mean, to, 
baby step. Like it's, again, it's very plain, it's very structured, but it's not gonna feel like that. There's gonna be, oh man, I, I don't wanna give the details away, um, but there are times where you're thinking like, hey, I don't, I don't know if I can handle this or if we're meant to handle this, right? But you do, you do, you survive, you get through it. Um, and it, it's one of those things where throughout the rest of your life, you can talk to your peers about that. Like, yeah, that sucked, but we got through it. And that's hilarious, you know? Um, so I need to go to get lunch with a friend now. Um, sorry if this is just, if this is just rambling. Again, ask me specifics, please. But um, there's, it's, it's a super fun environment going, going to basic, but it doesn't feel fun. I don't know how else to put it. Your feelings and what you experience get recontextualized. Um, it's not going to feel good. You're gonna be tired, depending on where you are in the United States, you're gonna be exposed to the elements and the weather around you, but you also, you're gonna learn patience, you're gonna learn how to connect with people. Um, and I don't know, I'm just, I'm proud of all of you who are telling me that you're doing it and you're signing up for it. That is awesome, it is really cool. Um, again, people who have worked in super comfortable environments and have really predictable lives and paychecks and I mean, the paychecks stay predictable, you know, the pay is great, but um, yeah, you're going to be in an environment where you're constantly pushed off balance and you've got to stay calm. You've got to stay present, humble quiet at times, you know, there's going to be environments where you're not going to be able to speak. Um, and while it, again, while it is a social experience, it is so intimately private with yourself because you got to, you got to talk to yourself a lot. Hey, why am I here? Who am I? Who, like, what's the, who am I becoming through this process? What's the end goal here? Um, your heart and mind are gonna be um, brought to the forefront forefront in this experience. In the corporate world and in the normal nine to five, yeah, you can you can reflect a lot, right? I mean, you can read books, you can you can reflect on why you're pursuing the job you're pursuing or the educational program you're pursuing. But the thing about the military is it involves your body. It involves, uh, in a very powerful way, you are physically pushed beyond your limits constantly. That right there grows you as a person. So, I don't know what else to say. Um, the vaccination process is super fun. You'll love that. Uh, the roommate situation, I mean, you're, you're, you're sleeping in a, a room with like tons of people. It's different depending on the building or, or where you're at, but um, that aspect is, that's the healing part of this because it doesn't matter how stressed you get, you've got friends next to you where you can do push-ups together, you can talk talk with each other, whatever whatever way you, you process stress, you, you get it out with, with peers. Um, we leaned on each other a lot and uh, there were a lot of people who were, were married, who left their spouses behind to do this and they were, constantly feeling that that tug you know for for their loved ones back home um and you you get to support each other through that and grow with each other through that that's really cool um there will be people who stress you out and bother you but there's going to be people who connect with you and, and you, you form relationships regardless it's it's impossible not to you will find people you click with especially you may not think that they're people you would click with but you show up in that environment and it's it's really rad how you you just develop friendships and you develop parts of yourself you know were you didn't know were there. Um, you connect in ways that are just deeper than, than what you thought. So again, I I know this may sound ambiguous to you, but this is all sort of the experience of 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 my journey in the military. Um, be prepared to be really uncomfortable. Be prepared to be stressed. Um, but while it is anxiety inducing you have so many people left and right of you that just bring you back down and that, that hold you where you are. And you'll laugh like you've never laughed before. You'll be humored by, by uh, personalities that you just you totally appreciate are there. Because while things seem like heavy in that moment, 
you look to your buddy and you just start cracking up. I mean, you, you, they're, they're, there's levity to be brought in the, in the heaviness of things. And these are, these are things that, that go with you beyond the military. That's what I appreciate about this process. Because um, again, as a guy who's run his own business, there aren't people to pat me on the back and to say, keep going. When I can't make money, I don't eat food. That's a scary place to be. Um, and I want to know that when I go back into the business world and I go back to being an entrepreneur on my own, creating a business, I want to know that I have the strength within myself to, to see what I think are my limits and to just smash through them, right? And having peers in the military, they, they feed me information about myself. They allow me to reflect and, and to grow alongside them. So when I do go back to the business world, I'm taking all of this with me, all this experience, all this knowledge about myself. And not to mention, I have them always to reach out to. You know, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna stay connected for life. Whether you talk every day or not, um, the experience really kind of cements your relationship with them. So I'm done rambling. I'm gonna go get some food. And uh, if you have any questions, please post them on the comment section. I'll post more videos for you. I really love hearing all of your stories about how you're joining. That is so cool. Because I'm not alone, and I, I felt like it a lot through the process. Because a lot of my buddies joined when they were, you know, 18, 17, 21. So not many people joined at 32, but there, there are like 38 year olds who joined, 39 year olds who joined in basic training. So yeah, I mean, it's life is what you make it. You know, don't limit yourself. Don't ever limit yourself. And if you ever want to do talk business, talk entrepreneurial stuff, I'd love to post some content about that. So please ask me. Um, last thing I want to say is, oh yeah, you can shoot me a message on Instagram at six figure couch surfer. That's uh, based on a book that I wrote. It's just kind of a very existential look at the money making process and, and my personal journey prior to joining the military. So, all right guys, thanks for the view and I will see you on, a, on another video. Bye.